يلا السلام عليكم ايش حالكم ايش اخباركم ان شاء الله انتم بخير today ان شاء الله our lesson will be about how to speak to your friend if she's upset so what are the words that you need to say to your friends to your partner to your colleague maybe to kid to the kids it's almost the same words or even sometimes to the customer uh, or anyone that you know who's around you تمام So, well, of course, one of the basic question is to ask what's the matter or what's the issue, what's the pro what's the issue? So this is a little bit informal. So you, you, I don't recommend you use it with the manager or use it with the clients. With the clients, maybe you can ask what's the problem? But with the friends and every uh, partner, siblings, you can say shu balak, the first one, shu balak. تمام شو بلاك for a male and for female you can say شو بلاك شو بلاك before I even start more about this you know that in Emirati Arabic we have different ways for different things so though it's about being upset but it's not the only way that you can ask there are many other ways but I'm teaching you This, oh, I'm teaching you with certain phrases, the one that is most common. It doesn't mean like if you know maybe other words, that's wrong. It means there are many, but I'm choosing this. So for me, as because I always think as a learner, that rather than to give you the يعني, five words for the same thing, I should give you only one or two words for the same thing. The more that you learn Emirati Arabic, the more that, the more that you can learn. You could know. تمام? So, شو بلاك for a male and for female شو بلاك One of the most common answer is ما فيني شي ما فيني شي Basically nothing So usually this is also I want to teach you about the culture People don't express just because you ask one question Even if, she, if she's your wife or he's your husband or friend or close friend They will not tell you the immediate answer immediately Okay, so you need to dig more and more. So, ما فيني شيء, though if you heard it, especially now, if you're listening to me and you are a man, <laughs> and like the girl said to you, like, ما فيني شيء, it means she, it has, there is something. <laughs> okay, so don't believe it. شو بلاك, شو بلاك, ما فيني شيء. ما فيني شيء, تمام? What's the second thing? Okay, and she or he can also say one of the more common answer Lo fini shay bagul. If there is something, I will tell you. And I remember, like, uh, I just saw this phrase uh, on Twitter last few days, saying this is the biggest lie we said to everyone. If there is something, I will tell you. Lo fini, fini shay. If there is something in me, I will tell you. Okay, so you can. Uh, that's why I said, okay, maybe as long as this is, يعني, everyone says this, so you need to learn this one. لو فيني شيء بقول لك. Okay, so first you go, what's the matter? شو بلاك أو شو بلاتش? The answer is, ما فيني شيء. ما فيني شيء. Nothing. Then he, he might still ask, شو بلاتش? Then the second answer will be, لو فيني شيء بقول. لو فيني شيء بقول. And then she might or he might say, Do you really care? And you know that we use it a lot in the problems, um, or whenever we want to express that I will not say what I have because maybe you don't care. Tamam? So you would say, يهمك? يهمك? So now I want to ask you, students, يهمك, is it for a male or for a female? Is it for a male or female? 
and why if you say it's for a male you, you need to tell me why if you say to female you need to tell me why Lish. Lish. Why? If I say to someone, Yihimmik, I'm saying this to a male or to a female? Very good. Because it ends with K. Or if you're reading Arabic, with K. Now, very good answers. Now, if I want to say to female, then I have to change it to what? I have to change it to yihimmich. Yihimmich for female. So you need to have the ch. The ch. Okay? Ch at the end for female. Exactly. So if I'm speaking now to Fatma, like Fatma, she made me upset. So I can say, and she said, what's wrong, Hana? Shubelach. I can say to her, yihimmich. Yihimmich. So the word yihimmich or yihim, it comes from the word muhim, which is important. Like, is it important for you? Do you really care? Tamam? Zain? Zain. Here they might tell you what's wrong. <laughs> So you see the picture. The first one is ana madayig. There is a male in it, uh, next to it, and there is m. It means it's a male. Ana madayig. Ana madayig. Some people they end it with g. Some people they end it with g. Madayig. Both is used in Emirati Arabic, but I think most commonly they use, like if you are in Dubai and Abu Dhabi, in Sharjah, they will use an amadayaj, amadayaj with jim. If you go to the Northern Emirates, they may use it with g. Other Gulf uh, countries, they would use it with g. Madayag. So regardless what you say, everyone understands this part of Emirati Arabic or Khalija Arabic. Tamam? Ana madayig, and for female you can say ana madayga or ana madayja. Both is correct. Madayga or madayja. No, I'm upset. It means I'm upset. It means I'm not happy. And it, it comes, by the way, and this is very interesting, it comes from the word dayig, which means tied. Like basically your chest becomes tied. You know, when you, it's like you shrinked because you're not happy. You know, with happiness, you always open. When you're sad, you always close. This is an advanced word than za'lan. Za'lan, it's like basically, uh, it's common, everyone used it. But this is an, usually adults, they would use this one to say, I am upset. If you are a beginner, stick to what? To za'lan. If you are intermediate and advanced, learn this word. Tamam? Now, if you want to say the third one, I'm upset of you, I think in English. In Arabic, we say from you. We use the preposition min. But I know in English, I think you might use of. I'm upset of you. Okay, so, ana. Now, if I am a male, I would say, ana madhayig. Sah? If I am a male, I would say I'm a But if I'm a female, I would use I'm a Nak from you, minnik. So if I'm speaking to Ahmed, to a male, I would say Anna. Now let me say I am a male, huh? Anna Rayal. I'm speaking to Ahmed. So I would say I'm a minnik. But if I am a male and I'm speaking to a female, I would say I'm a minnik. Now, I'm a female speaking to a male. <laughs> Anna Mudvaija Minnik. If I am a female speaking to a female, like I'm speaking to Fatma, it will be Anna Mudvaija Minnik. It could be confusing for you because you have to, to do it. It's first about you and then about the person 
next to you or in front of you, you're speaking with. So I will teach you another verb. It's the, from the same word, but as a verb, so you don't have to change a lot. Yeah, this is أنا متضايق منك. Male to female. أنا The last one. The second one in brown. الضايقت. الضايقت here now it becomes as a verb. Because now you speak about the verb, you don't have to change. So you would use the same one, regardless if you are a male or female. Now only just you need to add منك or منك. It depends who you are speaking about. If you get confused, it's okay. Stick to only this one. الضايقت منك. I'm upset of you. Okay, so الضايقت will regardless if you are a male or female, you will use the same. الضايقت. Now, if you are speaking to Ahmed, you can say الضايقت منك. If you speak to Maryam, you can say الضايقت منك. الضايقت or الضايقت منك. تمام؟ تمام, I guess. Now, how to say I didn't mean it? How to say I didn't mean it? You can say ما كان قصدي. ما كان قصدي. The good thing about this, it doesn't need a gender. It's the same. ما كان قصدي. Or also one of the main excuses, like I was not intending to hurt you or to say this or to do this. So you can say, ما كنت متعمد. ما كنت متعمد. تمام? Either you say, ما كان قصدي, which is more common. Or you can say, ما كنت متعمد. If you want to fight, you can say, no, كنت متعمد. You were intending <laughs> to hurt me. But if you want, if you don't, then you can be quiet. <laughs> ما كنت متعمد. You can also, of course, when you're very, you're speaking to your upset friend, one of the best way to calm down any problem is to say, I'm sorry. So if you're a male, you would say, أنا آسف. This is about your gender because I am sorry. So it's about my gender. If I am a male, I would say, Ana Asif. And if I am a female, I would say, Ana Asfa. Ana Asfa, the last one. Ana, oh, Ana Asfa. Again, Ma kan qasdi, the first one. Ma kint mit'amid. Ana Asif. أنا آسفة. For the female, آسفة. ما كنت متعمد. Thank you who mentioned this. Who need. ما كنت متعمد. Because متعمد is an adjective. So to make it feminine, if I am a female, I would use the same thing. But adding تا مربوطة at the end. So ما كنت متعمدة. ما كنت متعمدة. For a female. متعمد. If I am a male, I would say متعمد. For female, I would say متعمدة. So, شب شب نام. She's saying how to say I didn't mean anything bad. We're just coming there. How to say like. So I would we would usually would say like for me it's impossible to hurt you. It's impossible for me to hurt you. So you would say, أنا مستحيل, مستحيل means impossible, أجرحك, to hurt you. If you want to say, for, this is for a male or female, you see in the picture or in the bracket at least, it says M, it means for a male. But if you want to say it to female, you can use the same thing, but change the K to CH. 
سو so, انا مستحيل اجرحك انا مستحيل اي نوتس ذات ام شاوتينج ذن اي ساي واي يو كان هير مي اني واي ام سو كلوز انا مستحيل اجرحك اند فور فيميل انا مستحيل اجرحك اجرحك فور فيميل اي ثينك يا اتس بيتر تو كومنتس اوف So, أنا مستحيل أجرحك for a male and for female you would say أنا مستحيل أجرحك or you can say it's impossible for me to make you upset or to upset you أنا مستحيل أقول it's impossible to say أقول شيء something يزعلك makes you upset or upsets you أنا مستحيل أقول شيء يزعلك Now because يزعلك it ends with K so you need to change it to ch if you speak into a female أنا مستحيل أقول شيء يزعلك أنا مستحيل أقول شيء يزعلك or also you can say حقك علي It's very hard to find the right English translation for those two phrases حقك علي and حقك علي It's the same thing but one for male and one for female But it means like this is you, you say it whenever you accept your mistake Like you did something and you can say Yes you're right I am sorry So basically your right is on me It's like on my shoulder I'm responsible of this It's another way to apologize It's another way to apologize. Sorry. Either you can say حقك علي or حقك علي. حقك علي or حقك علي. تمام? Basically you're saying your right is on me. Like I'm, uh, I understand it's my mistake. Or you can say, I apologize. This is a little bit advanced. You can stick to say, Ana Asif, and that's it. Or if you would like to add more. Tamam? Ana A'tidhar. I apologize. A'tidhar. Ana A'tidhar. Ana A'tidhar. If I want to say, like, I promise you the last one, I promise you not to do it again. So I promise you is, Aw'idk. Aw'idk. أوعدك and not to do it again or not to repeat it ما أكررها ما أكررها so أوعدك ما أكررها again حقك علي حقك علي أنا أعتذر أوعدك ما أكررها أوعدك ما أكررها so when I say أوعدك it's for male or female whenever there is K at the end of the verb Or of the noun, most probably it's for a male. Yeah, most probably, not all the time, most probably. So, أوعدك ما أكررها. And if you want to say it to female, it's the same thing, I guess. I don't. Uh huh. أوعدك ما أكررها. If it's uh, you want to say it to a female, أوعدك ما أكررها. I forgive you. So you, I know in English is a present tense, but usually in English, in Arabic is past tense. To say I forgave you, سامحتك. سامحتك. For a male and for female, I would say سامحتك. سامحتك. I forgive you. تمام. Clear so far. And this is the last phrase. أوعدك إذن إماراتي أوعدك إذن فصحى
So the last phrase is ما عاش اللي يزعلك for a male and for a female ما عاش اللي زعلك. The only reason that I didn't write English translation because it's very hard to write English translation for this phrase. This is not only Emirati. This is across all the Arab region. They use the same. Maybe they pronounce it a little bit differently, but it's almost the same. So ما عاش اللي زعلك ما عاش اللي زعلك. Basically, if someone says to us that I'm upset, regardless of the reason, and regardless who what made her upset. Or made him upset we say this phrase to way to support her that no one will live ma'ash <laughs> no one lived who could makes you upset yani basically you would say like anyone who makes you upset they will die <laughs> and i think it's very interesting <laughs> didn't love the person who upsets you I think this is the best translation I think it's very interesting to say such a phrase يعني you are so valuable to me and uh, anyone who makes upset will not live تمام <laughs> so we reach to the end of our lesson today I hope you learned a lot and always I recommend if you are a beginner, if you are totally beginner in Emirati Arabic or you are, you know, just a few words, you know, just the greetings and the numbers, I would recommend you start. I would recommend you start to check the videos that we have in YouTube. We do have more than 200 free videos available for you. Okay, so this is you can do it for free in your own time. But you need to do your homework. Tamam? If you are يعني, not beginner, not intermediate in between, there will be many words in the language. Like especially in, in Arabic language, they say there are about 10 million words. You don't have to learn everything because even as an Arabs, we don't know the 10, the 10 million words. Choose the words that you can use it in your daily life. Maybe if you are a doctor, those words maybe maybe not beneficial for you, then why you have to learn it? Maybe you can learn one word, two words, خلاص. But if you have deeper connections with Emirati community, if you marry to an Emirati, if you have Emirati friends, then those words could be important for you. But if you work, like if you are having customer, maybe not. I mean, I use some of it, like the word حقك علي, I use it even with the, sometimes when we have unhappy customer or unhappy student, I say this to them. And it makes f make them feel more appreciated يعني, that we use such words because like, okay, we take the responsibility of our mistakes. Tamam? So you need to do your homework. First, you check YouTube lessons for free. Second thing, you learned on YouTube. Now you want to learn more? We have books. And this is, I want to tell you that today we have just published our second edition of the 700 questions. So with those, with the books, you have more words, more Emirati. So even if you know Fusha from before, but with the book, at least you know how to say it in Emirati Arabic. And all our books are translated to English and uh, to Arabic. Tamam? So try your best to focus on what you need. Now, still, you, you bought our books and you still you don't think it's enough? You don't think it's enough? Then you can have more classes with us. The teacher can hear your pronunciation, can help you learn the word, can give you homework, can give you, you know, more attention to your learning, and you can go on. So it's really, it's up to you. What do you want? Anna, as Hanan, and today as Hanan, I tried my best to give you all the options. If you are telling me I don't have, for example, finance, I will say you have many free content, including this today free session. If you say that, Hannah, I would like to know more in details, I would say like we have books, we have courses, we have a private, we have a group class. If you want to say I want more customized 
course for my own needs, then I say, yes, we have a private classes for you. So now, if you will ask me, where can I find this book? Most of the books we have it, all the books we have it in a Ramsan Institute, and we also have delivery within UAE. If you are outside UAE, many of our books, we have eBooks, we have audio, we have video. So you can find those books available in our website. I will just type for you here. So all what you need, if you have Visa or MasterCard, you can just buy as you buy from Amazon or anywhere else. And you will have the content with you, the ebook with you. And some of the major bookstores like Borders, Cuniconia, Magrudi, they have also our books. This one is just today, we have, uh, we got it. So they might not have this one today, but inshallah from uh, end next week, or after two weeks, they, we may have it in the major bookstores as well. Tamam? If you would like to have it from Aramsan Institute, we do have many books available. All what you need, just you need to send us a direct message, DM, what books that you need to, uh, to have, and we can send you as a delivery. I will screenshot some of the pictures from the book so you know what's inside the book. It's basically, uh, you will learn 700 questions or statements f from different topics, for love, for hate, for fight, for uh, work, for uh, shopping, for uh, friends, I think. With the questions, because sometimes you know words, but you don't know how to put it in a sentence. It is really good for people who are beginners up to, يعني mid intermediate. If you are advanced, this is, should be easy for you. And learning and to speak Emirati Arabic is not just a desire, it's not a wish, it's an effort. You need to put efforts to do that. Any language, you need to put efforts. Tamam? The difference between this version and the previous per uh, version is basically the design. <laughs> we make it better. The previous design, uh, like little bit was orange color desert. So, but as long as we printed the new version, we said, let's change it and we keep our style. And uh, yeah, and this one is designed better than the other one. So it's basically about designing, not content. But sometimes good designs help <laughs> to stay more in the book and to look more into the book. Tamam, <laughs> we're done. This one, uh, the price is about 37 dirham. So from our institute, usually it's the cheapest, 37. But in the bookstores, it depends on the bookstore, but it's average, and maximum it will be 45. I think we are done for today, almost half an hour. I hope you enjoy the lesson. Inshallah, I'll upload the lesson in YouTube. And uh, see you next time. We don't have any plan yet for next week or upcoming weeks, but I'll, uh, we'll, as I said, we need to re reassess and uh, then we can have different things. We always will be offering as much as we can, more content for you. Wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Ma'asalama.